Welcome to the Ventus MX4 online training module number 8. We are going to cover the Ventus MX4 docking station. The DS2 docking station provides complete automation of all calibration, bump tests, charging, diagnosing, and record keeping. This ensures that the Ventus MX4 on the DS2 has been properly bump tested and or calibrated in a timely manner taking all guesswork out of regulatory compliance and instrument reliability. On the docking station there are three LED lights that will indicate to the user the status of the instrument. The green LED is my indication that the instrument has finished its scheduled event and is ready to be used. We never want to use the instrument unless a green LED is lit. If I see an amber LED, this is my indication that the instrument is still communicating with the docking station. We will then want to wait for the green indication. If I get a red LED indication, that is telling me that the docking station was not able to complete its scheduled event. And that may be because there was a failed calibration, loss of server connection, or a calibration gas is expired. At this point, the user wants to make sure not to use the instrument until corrections are made. My last indication would be if both the green and amber LEDs are lit. This would be my indication that the instrument has finished its scheduled events, but the battery may not be fully charged. The green indication tells me that the instrument is able to be removed and used with a fully charged battery. But with a green and amber LED indication, this tells me that my battery may not be fully charged. The instrument still may be used, but you must check the battery first for sufficient battery power. The DS2 docking station for the Ventus MX4 is a universal docking station. This means the docking station may be used with all configurations of the Ventus MX4 and all configurations of the MX4 iQuad. To use the DS2 docking station with all diffusion Ventus MX4s and MX4 iQuads, first remove the docking station pump attachment. Ensure that the selector lever is placed in a non-aspirated mode by pushing down on the hinge lever. You should see the non-pump symbol in the instrument cradle. This slide is showing the position of the selector lever for the aspirated instrument on the left and the position of the selector lever for a diffusion instrument on the right. Once the selector lever is in the diffusion position, install your diffusion Ventus MX4 or MX4 iQuad and flip down the diffusion lid. This video shows the user how to insert the diffusion Ventus MX4 into the DS2 docking station. First remove the pump attachment. Place the selector lever in the non-aspirated mode by pushing the hinge lever down. Insert your instrument with the face forward and flip down the diffusion lid. After you've inserted the Ventus MX4 into the DS2, the docking station will then read the instrument settings, could update those settings, bump test and or calibrate as programmed in the administrator's console. To use the DS2 docking station with all aspirated Ventus MX4 instruments, ensure that the docking station pump attachment is installed. Open the pump access door. Ensure that the selector lever is placed in the aspirated mode by pulling up on the hinge lever. You should see the pump symbol in the instrument cradle. This slide is showing the position of the selector lever for the aspirated instrument on the left and the position of the selector lever for a diffusion instrument on the right. Once the selector lever is in the aspirated position, install your aspirated Ventus MX4. Close the pump access door. The DS2 docking station will then read the instrument settings and could update those settings, bump test and or calibrate as programmed 
in the Administrator's Console. This video shows the user how to insert the aspirated Ventus MX4 into the DS2 docking station. First, place the selector lever in the aspirated mode by pulling up on the hinged lever. Next, install the pump attachment. Insert your instrument with the display facing forward and then close the pump access door. After you have inserted the Ventus MX4 into the DS2 docking station, it will read the instrument settings, could update those settings, bump test and or calibrate it as programmed in the administrator's console.